this is a pretty cool world we live in. And, you know, I think all of us want to keep this world a nice place to live. And so when everybody starts talking about how we're going to store the climate, you know, we're using too much energy, we've got too much greenhouse gas, it makes sense to listen. But there's a lot of information out there that's just not the truth. And I think it's important that we as consumers know what to do when we go to the store, when we buy a new car, that we make good choices that end up, you know, reducing greenhouse gas and pollution and all that sort of stuff. You know, the thing about electricity is that it seems like people learn from their in, these environmental organizations and which mean well, right? I'm, you, you get told by environmental organizations and politicians and these people that, uh, you know, this uh, the electricity, electricity, oh man, electricity is just so great. Electric cars, electric cars, right? So, I mean, you know what? I've got an electric car, okay? I get it. I get all this stuff, right? I'm not, I'm not criticizing anything. What I'm saying here is that when you make electricity, like I said, most of the time it comes from fossil fuel, but, but even when it doesn't, you make electricity, and then when the electricity is made, it gets transferred from the equipment down some lines to your house, you know, or to whatever. It goes through your municipality, and it goes through all this, these lines and equipment and all this stuff. And by the time it gets to your car, there's some significant efficiency lost. You lose stuff when you transport. It's like, um, you know, it's like when you try to run out in the wind, I mean... You know, the windier it is, the, the the more energy it takes on your half, right? It's the same thing with electricity. The longer it goes, I mean, there's just more energy that's lost, right? And, you know, the bottom line is, is you have efficiency loss. So you lose some of this energy that you created just through the transmission. And then you go, you fill it up in your car, and then there's, it, there's another energy efficiency loss as you're trying to charge up your battery, right? And then when you regenerate it going down a hill, you're not getting 100% of your regen. You're whatever your hill thing is, you're only getting a part of it, right? There's always a loss. It's just, a, it's a rule of uh, thermodynamics or physics, right? It's just, it's a rule. It's just the way the world works, right? You lose stuff. Every time you do anything with it, you'll lose something. And so, and you know, electricity is no different than fuel, right? And so if I was to take and calculate out like a very fuel efficient power plant and, and a very fuel efficient engine, like even a hybrid or something, you're, you're not actually really gaining anything by using electricity in your vehicle. I can say that again, okay? You're not really gaining anything. I mean, there's cases where you are and there's cases where you're not, but it, this isn't about efficiency gain of why you use electricity, okay? You're not saving the world with electricity. You're using a different energy source, okay? And in the long run, you see, in the long run, let, hear this out, people, because this is probably what this is about. In the long run, what it is, is you have like, however many cars you have, like whatever, 10 million cars, let's say, and they all have a tailpipe, okay? And in that tailpipe, you get CO2 gas and, uh, and water and stuff that comes out of it, right? It's what, just chemistry. It's what happens when you burn fuel. So this stuff comes out of your exhaust pipe. And if you got a million cars, it'd be kind of hard to go around and collect all that gas, right so all of that gas pretty much just goes up in the atmosphere now the advantage of electricity is i can take this you know power plant let's say i make a really big power plant that's got you know instead of a one inch exhaust pipe right i mean that thing might have a 80 inch exhaust pipe or something right so it's got a really big exhaust pipe anyway so this this stuff that comes out of these exhaust pipes like if it's a really big exhaust pipe and I was creative, see, I could take like a really big pipe and fan and I could suck all that exhaust and then I could go blow it into something and capture the exhaust and maybe use it to grow algae or compress it and pump it underneath the Earth's oceans. Yeah, don't call me crazy because this is what's going on, okay? So these big companies that are out there that are trying to talk about carbon capture and all this other stuff. This is all that's going on, okay? They want you to drive an electric car because then they can control the stack and the stack, which it's not a bad thing, okay? Don't take that CO2 and stick it to algae and the algae will convert it to carbon, which is just like, you know, whatever, just like the original fossil was, right? Or you can stick it and compress it and jam it underneath the earth in these rock formations 
And that's what you do with it. You, you stick in, basically you're putting in a big tank, a natural earth tank, right? So you're taking the CO2 out of the atmosphere and you're doing something with it. That's not happening in really big scale right now, but I mean, they're working on it, right? And, and the, but that's what you're doing. That's why people want you to convert your cars over to electricity. Right, it's not. I mean, this isn't about. You're not saving the world like instantaneously here. If you had nuclear power, on the other hand, right, there is no greenhouse gases really with nuclear power. And okay, so you could probably do it quicker that way. But then you got to deal with the nuclear waste. Anyways, it's never like I said before. There's always some consequence to whatever it is we try to do. So all we can really do is try to do what's best. Right? We can try to do the best that we can with what we have. We're going to talk more about that. Because this is what this show's about, man. It's about the earth. It's about conservation, okay? And I, I'm just here to tell you some truths that you probably don't know. See, then you, have, then you have to think about these guys that are doing all this energy stuff and this greenhouse gas capture, right? It's like, um, you know, what motivation do they have to have you drive an electric car, right? Well... You know, I, I don't know exactly how every bit of this works, but I know that this whole carbon credit and and uh, all these other things, I mean, you know, they're essentially, they're on the table to get paid to do all this carbon capture. And they're gonna probably make a whole bunch of money on this and they'll make money on selling all that electricity. I mean, they've got all this oil, they gotta do something with it, right? They got all these other fossil fuels, they have all these other things that are going on. They have to do something with that to be able to continue making money. And electricity is just another form of energy. It isn't, it isn't some magical thing that just exists, right? I mean, you have to do something to create it. And so, uh, yeah, so they're going to make some money selling those carbon credits or pumping that stuff into the ground, um, making biomass with algae, whatever it is. They're going to end up making money on it, and that's why they want you to do it. And they want to control the stack. See, they want to control the new energy source. See, you kind of got to figure that uh, whatever these folks are going to do, they're going to do something to make money, right? And uh, they're going to try to sell you that whatever they're doing is a good thing. And then that way you'll go buy more of it. I mean, just because they're selling it and just because people are telling you it's the right thing. And just because people that are trying to do good believe that this sounds like a good idea, man. We're going to drive electric cars and we're going to, you know, ride on the hydrogen economy. Just because people believe all this stuff doesn't necessarily mean it's true. They haven't sold the stuff and they may or may not know, Right. So it doesn't mean that they're wrong or it doesn't mean that something's bad. It's just be careful what you're buying because it isn't always what you think it is. You know, you have to have a lot of information in your hand to be able to make a really good decision. And, you know, hopefully through this series of these videos of the stuff that we'll talk about here and, you know, hopefully we'll learn from you guys too, right? I mean, this isn't a one-way street. Hopefully, uh, you know, we can put some good information together here. One of the things I've really thought about is how, uh, you know, we are pretty good at using energy and finding different ways of using it. Uh, we aren't necessarily so good about conserving it. A lot of people talk about the environment. A lot of people don't do much about it. And uh, there's a lot of people trying to sell you stuff. You know, how to fix this and how to fix that. And heck, they can't even tell you what the real problem is. They can't even tell you if there's a problem. I mean, we all kind of assume there is and we believe it. But, uh, you know, but nobody can really tell you what it is. Uh, but they got a solution for you. Right. And so, uh, the one thing I do know is that I know that there's a lot of people that are telling you things that aren't necessarily true. So I came up with this harebrained scheme of making this channel in the hopes of trying to dispel the BS that's out there and, uh, hopefully explain some of the truth and hopefully explore this world and find a little bit more truth than what we even know today. Uh, learn something we'll all learn some stuff together and what what we're going to go learn about the environment we're going to go learn about energy and we're going to learn about you know how can we actually do things to conserve energy how can we do things to help preserve the earth to you know prevent global warming or whatever it is that's going on what are the real factors going on uh, you know what this is not a political show there's no money involved here we're just gonna go cruise around we're gonna go check stuff out we're gonna talk about what's happening and uh you know some people may or may not like it and they may or may not agree with me. I don't really care. Because, you know, I just want to find the truth. And and here's the invite. Anybody that's out there that has a different opinion, hey, contact me. You guys want to go check something out? You want to study something? You want to do whatever? Just let me know. All right? That's this journey. <laughs>